Hello. So, I have decided to do a review of the Nico Zoom uh, for Xbox Connect. And <clears throat> it's going to be a very impartial review because all I'm going to show you is the what the Connect uh, is seeing. Um, basically, just going to use it as a camera and show you the difference with it on and with it off. So. So I'm going to start the program here, and uh, you'll see the window. So, again, this is what the Kinect is seeing without uh, the, the zoom on. So uh, let's look real quickly. At, yep, it has me. It hasn't lost me at all. It hasn't changed me to a new user. Um, no real issues right now. Now we're going to close this out. And uh, install that which is very easy and put it right back in the same spot and I'm going to rerun the program you'll see that it takes um, quite a bit longer for the image to come in with the zoom on, but invariably it will eventually give you this kind of fisheye effect. So now you see I am a lot closer. You see where it does that fade? I'm a lot closer to the connect than I was uh, with it with the zoom off. So you can see that. Know, while it is choppy and distorted, you, know, you are significantly bringing in the space required to play uh, with the Connect. So, you know, I'm convinced. I, I think it's if you are having a problem in your living room, you know, from what I'm seeing here, it seems like, you know, without it's not going to be perfect. You know, because of the obvious distortion. I mean, that's that's some pretty ridiculous distortion, but it is going to uh, to help you out. Let's reflect a little bit. Um, basically, this is a very incomplete review because it doesn't involve any gameplay. I don't even own an Xbox to hook my Kinect up to, but um, I hope that. Uh, what you've seen here can give you some perspective into how the uh, Zoom works and if it might be the right device for you. Now, um, because of the spherical distortion, you are going to get uh, some cutoff on the edges. So, you, I'm not sure, like, you're going to get exactly what you might be expecting, um, just keep in mind the distortion when you are getting this device. It's, it's very specific, I would say, because you're, while the Kinect itself has a very um, dynamic range, I think once you put this on, you're really limiting your range to a very specific area. Um, so just keep that in mind um, if you're purchasing this, and I hope that I've been some help.